here's what to do if you think you have a yeast infection. So your first instinct is probably to run out to CVS or Walgreens or any other pharmacy and pick up some over-the-counter medication. But the thing is, we're actually pretty bad at diagnosing ourselves with things like yeast infections or bacterial vaginosis. One study showed that 69% of people who thought they had a yeast infection actually had something else. So before you go out and get some sort of treatment, the best thing to do is get tested. You can do that at your OBGYN, you can do that in urgent care, you can also do it at home through Evie's vaginal microbiome test, which looks for fungi that would be associated with yeast infections like candida, as well as over 700 other microbes that are related to infections like bacterial vaginosis, aerobic vaginitis, UTIs. Obviously, it can take a little bit of time to get those test results back. If you do have a yeast infection, your doctor will likely prescribe an antifungal. That's the first line treatment for yeast infections. But it's also important to know that the type of fungi that's causing your yeast infection, so for example, Candida glabrata, the CDC recommends a different treatment plan, one that usually includes boric acid for treating that. So it can be really important to know the type of candida that's overgrowing and causing your yeast infection. A really good at home trick for relieving some of that itch is using an ice pack. Just make sure it's clean, wrap it in a clean cloth, and you can apply it to your vulva. And that should help relieve some of the burning itching feeling that comes along with the yeast infection. 